Hello there, everybody. This is Pinstripe Paragon. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. In the last episode, we took on Sheila's Alp, and now we can use Sheila in levels that she plays a part in. In this episode, we are going to be heading to Sunny Villa. Heck yeah! So the reason why I went to Sheila's Alp first instead of Sunny Villa, uh, I'll explain in a minute. Oh my! Oh my! Uh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Thrynox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the reason why I came here first is because... I mean, no, Sheila's out first is because Sheila has a section in here. Now, you're going to want to do that if you're going for a true 100% run. Um, just for the record, I will be doing all the skill points. Um, I won't be putting all the skill points in one episode, however, so... Um, if you're interested in that, I would recommend watching the LP. Show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. So that's kind of just a random ass NPC. He really doesn't do much at all, but whatever. Uh oh my god, Sunny Villa, this music. I mean This is I mean this level is memorable to me. I suppose not for the same reasons as a lot of the other levels in this game. Um, the main reason I remember this level is just because of the level design and the music. But also the fact that it's pretty much one of the first levels you go to in the game. Uh, that's definitely one of the biggest factors. This Rhinoc is too big to charge. You'll have to blame him using the circle button. Yeah, yeah. Ow! Quit shocking me. So, you want to make sure you get rid of all these trees because then you'll get a skill point which will it won't really do much I mean you don't even need it to get the 100% bonus um, I just feel like I can do it so uh, you know why not I mean a lot of the skill points in this game aren't that bad so it's really no big deal to me at all um, so yeah there's actually going to be two areas that we can go to in this that are separate from the main level itself, which is just going to be exciting. One new gameplay mechanic as well. So there's Vanessa, that's egg number nine. Sweet. Um, in this level there are... God, I want to say 400 gems, but I have a strong feeling that that is wrong. But I also feel like it's right. I know there are six eggs in this level. There are... More than likely, there are going to be six eggs in the level, unless it's a uh, ally level, the home level, or the flight levels. Which, yes, the flight levels do return, but there aren't five of them. Or, were there five or four in Spyro 2? I think there were four. No, there was five. Was there? It was four. Okay. Because I remember there being two in Autumn Plains. Ah! And then one in Summer Forest, which was Ocean Speedway. And then one in the Winter Tundra, which was Canyon Speedway. It sounds right. So, um, I think I will go ahead and do the Sheila section of the level first, just to get that out of the way. Uh, sweet. Uh, okay, some gems over here. Don't forget these, because those, those six gems are pretty easy to miss, I'm not going to lie. I have missed them quite a few times before. So, here's ten gems, and let's go into Sheila's level. If you have not saved Sheila yet... The sorceress will just have a. Hey, Spyro! There are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. At least I think the sorceress has a sign for you. I don't know. Alas, I have a loss to my love, guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Sure, but I don't want to. So, these enemies can be a little bit annoying as they do that. Um. It's not so annoying right now, but you'll see why they can be annoying. I did it. Yes. Let's destroy this and 
Here we go. Here. Yeah. So, not every level has an ally section, which I do like, but there's a decent number, so they at least keep it a little fresh. Um, there's usually one in at least one of the uh, characters that you get in that home world, and then there will be one, most likely, of one that you'll get later. Um, like, I know another level that is in... Uh, Sunrise Springs. Uh, okay, this is the annoying one. Okay, I know I've missed something, actually. Because I I know there's, like, a dude, like, up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of gems around here, so... This is... I would consider this area pretty easy to miss. I missed it quite a few times before. Where... Ah, I missed! Ah, no. Okay, there we go. That must hurt, like, plain steel, and we're just smashing it with our butt. That is some swag. Right there. Just saying. So, um, okay. Wee! 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 Ah, I keep jumping. Ugh. Okay, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna want to make sure I get- Ah! Where did you come from? Gotcha. I want to make sure I get, uh, most of the gems on my first go-around, because I don't want to go back for these. Ah, uh, here we go. Ah! And the level- There's still, like, another section to go to, so that's why I want to make sure I get them all now. Uh, that's- Hopefully this level doesn't take, like, a half hour to do. It shouldn't, but there's no telling what might happen. Wee. Wee. Oh, God! That was close. I almost fell off, because I was just, like, rushing it and crap. Oh, here we go. Oh, you're so cool, but you got the Mohawk, but no! Mohawks suck! They suck! Not really. Ah, uh, I don't know. But uh, could I ever see myself with a mohawk? No. What? Marco sent you here? I've got a restraining order against him. Okay. Uh, thanks for the egg, I guess? Uh, you didn't, you didn't... Okay, whatever. So, um... So that's why you're up in the tower, because you got a restraining order against the guy. Okay. That's nice of you. Um... Yeah, I can actually just jump down here. Ah! No fall damage. Heck yeah, that's how platformers should be. Yeah, <laughs> Okay. Uh, there's like one gem over here, so. Whee! Whoa. Um. Oh, I guess he found out. Whatever. So we're done with the uh, Sheila section. And let us. Ah, crap. I forgot. Uh, actually, no, I just wasted some time. Uh, I forgot that when you go into a section like that, almost everything you do out here will get reset, aside from like all the gems you've collected and, and the um, enemies that you've killed to a certain extent. There are some that will stick around. Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you like this... That means your progress is saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Okay, I wasn't... Okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah! It's a chicken! Ah! No! No, my chicken! I was gonna fry that chicken! I was gonna make fried chicken out of that chicken! Ah, it was gonna be some good chicken! <laughs> Kill the chicken! Oh, did I say he could do that? No! No! And then, uh, whatever. I will avenge my chicken! Ah. Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. No, you wouldn't. How dare you kill the chicken! You kill the chicken, I kill you! Ha 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 ha! That is how it is done. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs.
That's not a chicken egg! Ah! That's Colonel Sanders! That's funny. I, I like that dance, yes. Why am I talking like that? That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen! Because that wasn't a chicken, numb nuts. That was a dragon. Whatever. So now we can have quicker access to this area. And I will take full advantage of that. So I'm going to take care of those plants again for the skill points. Uh, there's actually still two skill points in this level. So whoop de freaking do right? The second skill point we will be able to do once we get to the new gameplay segment. Uh, yes, more new gameplay, yeah. See, that's one thing that I really loved about the PS1 platformers back in the day, was that, you know, each game had its own different gameplay mechanics. Like this one, we'll, we're about to get a new gameplay mechanic while in Spyro 2 they still you know pounded you in with multiple gameplay mechanics like the um, ladder the uh, head bash and swimming which was huge and this ought to give me the skill point. oh I forgot I didn't get the one where I had to jump my bad but yeah you know just little things like that. And then Crash, I mean, that was a huge example, because, uh... The first game, you know, it was pretty revolutionary, but it kinda had its issues. I mean, every game does, let's face it. Um, no game is perfect. Um, but, like, they improved on it a lot in Crash 2, with the fact that the boxes will stay destroyed if you hit a checkpoint. Or say you, uh. What was the other thing? And I'm still missing one. This is awkward. Um. What was the other thing? Boxes. Uh. There was something else in the game that they changed. Crap. I. Those who have played both games will know what I'm talking about. But, you know, they just. Oh, there it is. They employed a lot. And there's a skill point. Woo! So, still have another skill point to get in this level, however. And we'll be doing that right now. As soon as I get there. We, we, we. Ow! Oh, I almost ran into the freaking step. That would have been bad, eh? Would have jammed a horn. Alright. Hey. Hi, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Yeah. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so, there's a lot going on. Um, ah, I screwed that up. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of forgot how to do this to an extent. Now get back here. So, okay, here's one problem with this part. These lizards, they will not, for the most part, they won't be killed if you don't have a skateboard. Um, I mean, you can get some of them, but not very many. Just saying. So. I missed! Oh, I missed! Oh! But I'll get that guy. But overall, not too bad. You want to hold. You want when you're about to like do that. You want to like press X so then you can do that. Um, there are tricks involved, um, which really won't come into play yet. Um, they will for a skill point. Uh, however, in the next level with skateboards, there will be a moment where you're basically doing tricks to get points. So. You know, get a little bit of training here, but I honestly think that the next level with a skating park is much better for practice. And I went right through him! Why doesn't that count? That's stupid. Um, but, yeah. 
This is definitely my least favorite skating ground. There's... Uh, actually... I'm not so sure about that anymore. Um, because... There's one in the third homeworld? Yeah, because it's in Lost Fleet. And that one is a lot different because that's essentially a race. Okay, there's actually, yeah, there's four uh, skating parts, parks in the game. Um, but one of them isn't necessarily used as much because you have to 100% the game first. But uh, whatever. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let me just get these lizards. Oh, yeah, I got him. Thank God I don't have to use those rocks, eh? Um, I'll go in here, I guess. Got that guy. Ah! And this guy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're doing this. Now, right now, there's no penalty for losing a skateboard. There will be, though, so don't get used to it. Um, this is the only level, though, where you have to kill the lizards, though, so... I mean, if you don't like this, if you're against lizard abuse... If you do, you must work for freaking PETA or something. Uh, then... You know, you'll be fine. But, right now, we gotta take care of these little... Meah! So... Whee! Got him. Hey, that was great! And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Oh god, they were taking these. That's not good. Alright, if you can catch all the lizards without wiping out, and before time runs out, I might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not gonna be easy, though. I got this! Go get him, Spyro! Okay, Hunter! I'll do this. This isn't that bad. I mean, you get three minutes to do it. Like, really. It's not hard at all. Well, okay. It's definitely more difficult than the one we just did, but it's certainly easier. I mean, that just contradicted itself. Whatever. I do not care. I don't know, it's... I had practice earlier today, I'm kind of out of it right now, but... Whatever. Whee! Woo! Okay... Let's get this guy... Yeah, you gotta be careful around these, though. Oh, I just popped him, I didn't even have to, like, put my face in his soup and blow. Ah, no, 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 no! No, get... Back here, you scrub! You were through the freaking. <sighs> this game. Okay, this is by far. This area right here is the worst. Well, at least it was as a kid. Ah! Uh, God, that. I almost ran in right. Ran right into that. That would have been just terrible. But here we go. And one more. Where the frick is it? It's over there. I got this. Come here, you! I'm gonna get you! Ah! <laughs> Whoa, that was sweet! And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Hmm. Normally it takes me a couple of tries to do that, but sweet. Alright, so there's actually one more thing I want to do here. Um, we actually have all six eggs now, so that's really awesome. Before I go for these skill points, I'm going to go ahead and get the gems. Uh, there should be 13 more in here. Hopefully. Um, nine more. I don't know where it could be. So, as you can see, some uh, counter went off. So, there's a few different tricks that you can do. I honestly don't know all of them. That was apparently a single roll left. Um, so... I'm not really doing my best right now, but this is like a pretty good one. Ah, whatever. I'm getting the rest of the freaking gems right now. I don't really care. Cause I can always restart the this. So, all right. There's four more. Um. Okay, three more. This isn't a good sign. Okay, here they are. Good. Good. So we have all of the gems, all of the eggs. The level is technically complete. However, um, can I, like, 
if I hit give up... Okay, good, good. Okay, so... Uh, what I'm going to do is basically just, um... Get as many points as I can. Now, I'm not... I think the course record is like... God. That doesn't... That's not a trick! That sucks. Okay, this right here isn't the best area to be doing tricks right there. Um, the best area is actually over here to an extent. Or not! Just kidding. Um, so... Like this... Right here... Uh, I was hoping I could get like four to get either a, a crush orange or something else. There's crush. I won't be able to get a crush orange here. Um, at least I think it's orange. Um, the other spin is for like gulp, um, which are references to Spyro 2. I believe there is one by the name of Nasty Nork. Ah, uh, but I forget how to do it. Uh, there's one level later on that, like, it's really, really good to, uh, get these amazing tricks on. In fact, there's, like, tricks specified towards the level itself, so... Yeah, uh, yeah, um... I know, like, something like that's called a Twisted Lime or something, but... I have no idea what the course record is. Uh, here we go! Dang it, that- that's stupid. Uh, see, I can't remember the specific tricks. Um, so I'm just gonna see what the course record is, and we'll go from there, I guess. Uh, go to the left- TO THE LEFT! Ah, I screwed that one up. Let's see what the course record is, though. Oh, I almost beat it, so I'll do that again. Okay, so the course record is 3,200 points, so I'm going to try that here today. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start by coming over here, because I feel like this is one of the best areas to get points with these spins for 350 apiece, both sides, so... That Adds up to about 700. Ooh, I might be able to get the good one. Yes, there's a crush. And no gulp, but... I can get the gulp on this one, though. Yeah! That was some major swag right there. I got pretty much all the points right there. Now I can go all out with these flips. Ugh, swagger. And do a roll to the left. And I can do one more. Lull. See, there's a skill point right there. Um, which is both of these skill points to do in this level. And I'll just... I'll see what I can do. I'll see where I can finish up. Alright, 550 extra points. I like it. Uh, not too many there, but a couple more rolls. Alright, so over 4,000 points. That's actually pretty good for me anyway i like i know there's a lot of people that like well okay that was a thrash master um i don't know the specifications of that but whatevs what evs ah oh come on i i landed it but then i crashed so i i guess that doesn't count that's kind of stupid but whatever at this point, I'm just kind of slacking off, just trying to get anything, really. I don't feel like going around and... Okay! Well, whatever. I'm done with that, so... There we go. New course record. Uh, if you can beat that, post it as a video response. Oh, that's right. You can't! Freaking YouTube! Whatever. Uh... Okay, so, uh... That does it for Sunny Villa. Sweet. So, uh, level complete. Two skill points. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we get a little cutscene for completing two levels.
Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me, or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. When will you ever learn? Oh, well. So, now that Sunny Villa is done, um, we could head to... Uh, I want to say the Cloud Spires is what it's called. Um, let's find out. Yep. But, I'm not gonna do that today, as you can probably guess. Um, but, something I do want to show is we've unlocked this level. At last, my portal is working again. Come visit me at the Tiki Lodge. Okay. And we've also helped this guy, whatever his name is. I'll see you at the beach. Okay, I'll see you there too in a couple episodes. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for today's episode of Let's Play Spyro Year of the Dragon. In the next episode, we are going to be heading to the Cloud Spires. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.